It's exciting news for people who fear developing Alzheimer's disease. UNM researchers have developed a vaccine that could protect against the disease, and it's only a matter of time before they start testing it on people. I really wanted to take this as a challenge. Uh, to see if there is any way we can develop some kind of a treatment. Kieran Baskar has been passionate about studying Alzheimer's disease for the last decade. As an associate professor for UNM's Health and Sciences Department, he says the search for a cure started with an idea in 2013. I would say it took about five years or so to, to get from where the idea generated and, and get the fully functionally working vaccine. Baskar and his team started to test the vaccine on mice. We used a group of mice that have Alzheimer's disease and we injected them over a series of injections. PhD student Nicole Mafis says the vaccine was created to target a specific protein that's commonly found in the brain of patients with Alzheimer's. So what we chose to do was pursue a specific region of um, tau, as you saw the pathological tau, the red um, structures that are common in Alzheimer's disease. We wanted to make a vaccine against that. The result? These antibodies have seemed to clear pathological tau. Pathological tau is one of the components of these tangles that we find in the brain of patients with Alzheimer's disease. The mice were then given a series of maze-like tests. The mice that received the vaccine performed a lot better than those that hadn't. Despite that, Mafis and Baskar say this isn't a complete success just yet. Being able to get the vaccine to people will not only take a few more years, but can cost up to a billion dollars. We got to make sure that we will have a clinical version of this vaccine so that we can test in people. In order to test just a small group costs the UNM's Health and Sciences Department $2 million. Right now, Mafis and Baskar are looking for partnerships to help them get to their goal of developing a clinical vaccine. Jeannie Nguyen, KRQE News 13.